I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do some misty forest nails. I have a swatch here that's already been dipped into Rebels Erica. And then I got some fine liner color pens off of Amazon. So what you're going to want to do first is to have a paper close by so you can make sure your pen's working correctly. And then go in on your nail and then start drawing your trees. And these are going to be the very back trees, so I like to do these ones quite high up the nail. And they don't have to go all the way to the bottom, so we're going to be filling in the bottom with more trees. So you can place them wherever you want to, wherever you think looks good on your nail. Once you have them where you would like them placed, go ahead and grab your base and I'm dipping this into Revels Erica for the misty look. So apply uh, your base and then dip it into your Erica or any more translucent colors will work for this. After you are done dipping, go ahead and brush off the excess powder so we get the nail nice and smooth. If you have any bumps on the nail, just buff those off very lightly. We want um, each dip as smooth as possible so we're doing very minimal buffing so we don't buff our design off in the end. We're going to go ahead and place more trees now. And I like to place um, the trees where there's gaps in between the other trees just so I can fill in the design. It's nice and full at the bottom of the nail. Once you have those ones placed where you want, Grab your base and we're going to do another dip into Erica. Make sure to brush off the excess powder in between each of your dips. Make sure the nail's nice and dry. You can pat it. If it's a little sticky still, I like to put it back in the dip and then it will dry all the way. We don't want any brush marks in our nail. And you can start to see the back trees are already looking like they have some fog or mist on them. We're going to go back in and place more trees just wherever you think they'll look good. We're going to dip this again, so go ahead and bring out your base and put that evenly on the nail and we'll dip it into Erica and do one more uh, layer of trees. Make sure to brush off the excess powder to keep it nice and smooth and then go ahead and go back in and do your final layer of trees.
After the final layer of trees is done, you're going to dip that in a clear dip and then we will activate really good around all the edges and then we can start to file. So I'm just brushing off the excess clear powder here and then activating the now really good around the edges so we are only lifting and we're going to go in with the file and we're going to go around the nail very softly so we don't ruin the design on the nail bed. Make sure the nail is nice and dry before you start to file. You can tap it, make sure it's all the way hardened and then go around the outside edges of your nail with the file. Just tapping on the nail here to make sure that the top is nice and hard before I start to buff and then just buff very, very lightly and gently. We only have one layer of clear dip keeping us from the design. So just be very soft and gentle right here. After you're done buffing, you can go ahead and activate one more time. And then I used a um, matte top coat for these nail designs, but if you want to do shiny, you can do shiny as well. So I have a matte gel top coat, so I cured that for about 60 seconds, and this was the final result. Well, I hope this was helpful getting some cute little misty foggy nails thanks for watching bye